Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I prep my hair before a blowout. I actually start this whole preparation the night before I blow out my hair. So I'm going to show you guys step by step what I do, the products that I use. This video is not sponsored. Some of these products were sent to me, but this video is not sponsored and... I am always very, very honest with you guys. And even if I do get products sent to me, if I'm not crazy about the products, I won't show them in my videos. And so the products that I've been using lately, I am loving so far. So yeah, let's get right into the video. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload a video. Also follow my Instagram. This is my Instagram right here. I post a lot of stuff on there that I do not post on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check out my Instagram and show some love. And also my TikTok. I've been posting a lot more on TikTok. So check out my TikTok and yeah let's get right into the video as you can see i'm just kind of chilling in my robe i am i have some makeup on because honestly without makeup i've been getting so many like little bumps on my face my face has been so irritated if you guys can recommend anything for that let me know in the comments down below but my skin has been so like rough and like textury and bumpy i don't know what's happening but yeah, so I do have some makeup on. In this video, I'm not going to be blowing out my hair, but I'm going to show you guys kind of how my hair turns out at the end, just so you guys can have an idea of like how shiny my hair looks with all these products, just saying. Because <laughs> I wouldn't want to just film this video and not show you guys how my hair turns out, you know what I mean? Like it wouldn't really make sense, but I am going to be posting a video after this one, trying out a new blow dryer, so stay tuned. So last night, I actually put this oil on my hair. So this is from Pharmacy. I've spoken about this so many times. This is probably my favorite product that they have. And this is the garlic oil. So basically, I put this all over my hair. I go to sleep with this and I kind of massage my scalp. But yeah, you guys have heard me talk about this so much already. But this is what I used the night before. And I kind of sleep with the silk bonnet on top. This is the one that I use. I'll link it down below. I got it from Amazon. Super affordable. And today I washed my hair. So the products that I used in the shower are actually from Briogeo. So they did send this to me. I love Briogeo because their products don't have any parabens, sulfates, any like artificial dyes or anything super harsh for your hair. So yeah, this line, the Don't Despair Repair is like perfect for what I'm looking for. I want to repair my hair, you know, like my hair has been very damaged after vlogmas, putting so much heat on my hair. I kind of needed something that would like moisturize my hair. So I've been using these products from Brio Gio for a couple weeks now and I love them. This conditioner is so moisturizing and it leaves my hair so soft. I feel like you don't even need a mask after this step because this conditioner is that good. But I do use a mask after this step and I actually use... The one that is also in the same line. This is so tiny. I think this is more like a travel size, but I've been using it a lot. I'm going to use it now, actually, because I haven't used it yet. And you basically just put this on your hair, leave it on your hair for about 10 minutes, and you're good to go. But I'm going to do something different today. Today, I'm going to do a very deep 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 conditioning <laughs> so i'm going to be using this heat cap i've used caps before that are a little bit like heated like this that have this material but this one we're gonna go to the next level we're gonna put in the microwave and we're gonna do a very deep conditioning so i'm excited to try that today so actually let's do that now i'm almost like all done like do you see that i already like hit the bottom do you see that i've been using this a lot i love it this is very small but i feel like i'm gonna actually end up purchasing the big one because i really do like this mask i am going to add the mask a pretty generous amount i'm gonna add a little bit more pretty much all over my hair i'm very excited to do a deep conditioning today i feel like i should do this every week i do a mask every week every week maybe even like twice a week by the way i only wash my hair max twice a week sometimes once a week i know um but i feel like that really keeps my hair even more healthy so i'm gonna actually detangle my hair with my julie brush just to spread everything 
I love this brush because it's so flexible and it's perfect for wet hair, wet curly hair. I mean, even if you have wavy hair, straight hair, this is super gentle, but I know curly hair is a little bit harder to detangle, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like super flexible and I love using it in the shower. I love using it right before I blow out my hair. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's not pulling my hair or anything. It's like super, super gentle. So just making sure I spread everything. You guys see that? I love how it just opens up and it doesn't pull my hair. Okay, so now I am going to clip my hair. I just felt like I had to do a whole dedicated video to how I prep my hair before my blowout because I do a lot of steps. Like, I do a couple of things. So I wanted to really just focus on that today. So the next step is to use one of these plastic shower caps. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this lavender spritzer because I need it i need to relax this is my time to kind of just chill lay back you already know guys my back hurts i shoveled so much here in pennsylvania we had a snowstorm 30 inches 30 inches of snow and i literally was shoveling for like the whole day so i need to relax so basically just spray this all over Mmm, it does smell really good. I'm just gonna add it, spray it everywhere. I think that's enough. I don't want to add too much. But now I'm gonna go downstairs to my kitchen and I'm gonna microwave this. So I'll show you guys how I do that. So I guess I just place it in the microwave. Do 45 seconds. Now I flipped it inside out and with the elastic up and I'm gonna do another 45 seconds. So now I flipped it one last time and I'm gonna do another 45 seconds. Okay, I'm back. That was fast, easy. I'm excited. It's like super hot. Okay, so wow. This feels pretty hot, but I like it. So basically, I am going to leave this on my hair for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna relax. This feels great. Um, it smells really, really good too. I love the lavender mist. I'm going to take this off in 30 minutes and I'm going to rinse my hair. And I'll be back with the last couple of steps before I do my blowout. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm back. I have to say my hair feels amazing. It feels so soft. So yeah, let's do the next step. We're actually almost done. I'm going to add a little bit of this oil from Rio Gio as well. This is also from the Don't Despair Repair line. This is going to help keep your hair strong and healthy. It's going to help with split ends. And yeah, I use about that much. I've been adding this to my routine. Um, kind of like what I do before my blowout. So yeah, just add this on my hair. Now I'm going to use the Prep Rally Spray from Dry Bar. Add a little bit of that. This is my heat protectant. And it also leaves my hair super shiny, helps to detangle my hair. And I just talk about this all the time <laughs> because it's that good. Like, I just love it so much. So the last step is to use my Julie brush to detangle my hair. Again, just kind of to have it ready, nice and detangled for my blowout. And that is it. Now I'm going to blow out my hair. So this is what my hair looks like today after I blow it out. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to be posting that video right after this one. So if you want to see how I did my blowout, if you want to see what hair tool I used and all that, um, check out that video. Yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned so you can watch the blowout video that is going to be posted right after this one. Um, maybe in like two, three days. <laughs> so stay tuned. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>